be before we get right to it, I'll say I'm an armchair critic. Um, Marcia knows that I got a whole lot to say. Oh, that was plotting. That was crap. That was. Plot. This show is so very amazing, smart and funny, and provocative. You need to tell your mom and them, your neighbors, everybody to come, because it doesn't happen like this often. And that's all that that I will say. Artistically, culturally, societally, why this piece in this moment? We picked this play because we thought it's a really great play. But I think certainly in the uh, events of the last year, it seems, it seems unfortunately more timely than ever. And it's not that new things have been happening in the last year. It's that uh, the media and, and, and more white people have started to notice these things that are happening. <laughs> so I think uh, it's a particularly apt play for this moment because it is on on everybody's mind, and it's something that that everybody you you know you, you pass by people all the time um, talking about this stuff, and and one of the main things they're talking about is how can how can white people and black people see the same event so differently, even when we can like play the film and watch it. It's not like oh it happened and maybe your memory is faulty. It's like how can we look at the same film and have a totally mm -hmm. different? Um, and 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 I think that's a lot of what this what the beauty of this play is. You know, we see we see the event. It's a little Rashomon, but it's like who's right and who's who's. It's not so much even who's telling the truth because we know when people are lying. We know when they're telling the truth in this play. And there's a lot there's a lot of lying in this play. But who's, <laughs> but whose perceptions whose perceptions are right and whose perceptions jive with your own? both in terms of what your experience that you bring to the play and also in terms of what you see unfold in the course of the hour and a half that it takes place. And so the poet said, we wear the mask. So Jacqueline, Jackie, Rashida, for me in the audience was alternately winner and loser and winner. Is my take correct? And what is your take on who she is? I think my take doesn't really matter because everybody comes to the show and has their own, sees their own show. I will say that why I wanted to be in the room besides Cynthia and Diane is that Joel captures these tiny little details of personal relationship um, that probably just, we all miss, but the devil's in the details and in the details of these very small human interactions that are happening a million times a day everywhere in the world, he has captured some truths. I wanted to be in the room because, you know, I, I've been doing this work for a long time and I could read on this, in the script, I could say, I knew how white people were gonna take this play. And so I was like, oh no, I wanna be in the room because I need to straighten this black woman out. I need to, I know how this play could be played so it would be exactly what white people expect it to be. I need to take this because it's theater and, um, and it's a theatrical, it's not television, it's not reality television, and let white people be able to see what their eyes don't let them see, but what is going on all the time and what I knew any black person who saw the play would see. 